In this AutoCAD tutorial, we will see how to model a 3D house, 3D home, 3D building or you can call it 3D floor plan or 3D room. So let's start. So uh, a 2D plan is already ready on different layers. So creating it on different layers is very important because at first we will be making off the unwanted layers. So at first we want to create the 3D walls. So we will just make the unwanted layers off. We don't want windows, section, all those layers we will make it unwanted entities layer. We will make it off at first so that we can view only the wall structure. Then we will uh, switch to 3D modeling. Then we will close this template tool palettes. We don't want this tool palette. We will just close that and we will sh switch to SI isometric. So choosing SI isometric is important. So that will make us choosing the UCS planes very easy. So at first we will convert these walls into 3D using press pull command. So just click on press pull. Then just go inside the wall. Then pull it up. Just give the direction in which direction you want the wall. I want it vertical and give the height. Suppose I want a height of 3000. Same way you just give height to all the other walls. Give the height of 3000. And here also give the height of 3000 again by choosing the press pull command. Okay, so you can view this how it looks in conceptual visual style. So there, uh, here we have extruded the basic wall structure. So it is looking like this now. You can orbit it by pressing down the shift and roller and dragging the mouse. Now we want to create the walls. So we will switch back to 2D wireframe so that we can view the window locations. Then here layers uh, menu is not um, layers tab is not there. So just right click on home show panels and click on layers so that we can view the layers here. Then we will make the window layer on so that we can make the window window openings. So in green color we can see the windows here. Now suppose I want to cut down this window so I have to switch at first I have to switch to right plane or you can also use the dynamic UCS just click on dynamic UCS and just create one line so we'll be uh, create one line from the end of this window here we want window to be at thousand location from the ground so we'll just give a thousand then just take the rectangle command and just align your UCS and give the first point for the rectangle then just right click and give the dimension so we want a window ok before that we will just measure the dimension using this command di what is the width of this window that we will see at first so it is of thousand by thousand so again we will take the rectangle command as we are using dynamic uses at first you have to go over a surface once it is highlighted by dotted lines then you have to click the start point of the rectangle then just right click and say dimensions and give a length in x direction of 1000 and in one y direction of 1000 and give the direction I want it vertically above so this rectangle has been drawn here so we, we can view it in conceptual now to make the opening of this size you just have to switch back to you just use the press pull give the press pull then take your cursor inside the rectangle click there go uh, take your uh, mouse inside and just click so that opening will be ready same way we will create other openings too just pan it up just come back to 2d wireframe so at first we will create a uh, rectangle again uh, at the height of 1000 from the bottom and again this is of uh, thousand by thousand so again we will say rectangle then give the first point right click dimension 
of thousand by thousand and direction up so it has been created again press pull take it up and go inside and just click so opening is ready again we will come on this surface now now here the window length is more so we will just check that what is the window length so length is 1500 so same procedure we have to uh, repeat just give line take the end point give the height of 1000 then escape to come out then again give rectangle then just click the start point we are using dynamic UCS that you have to keep in mind so it is adjusting the xy direction automatically so we will give the width of 1500 and height of 1000 and click press pull create the opening go inside and click then again here it uh, those are looking like of 1000 by 1000 just we will measure the distance how much is the length okay 750 so those are 750 by 1000 windows are there so we just create one more line of 1000 height then rectangle we are using dynamic usage just align the surface click the start point and right click dimension width is 750 and height is 1000 direction is up now here we will copy this window everywhere so same window same size windows are there so we will just copy this just use copy select the object enter give the base point so we will take this side take the second point uh, here one window here and one more window here so all on all those side and same thing is there on this side also so we will just copy it outside yeah, at this location just make ortho of here one window is there so that line is missing so we will copy it again with different base point so we will just copy it here then we will just press pull and make the openings here so just zoom it and say press pull and just create the openings go inside click then you can also enter to repeat the last command enter press pull go inside click enter press pull go inside click same procedure will be following on the back wall also so we will just so to then we will just copy this rectangle so again we want the base point so basically these are the ventilators so those are of smaller size so it will not be of the same size we will just erase th these lines so on the front wall we have created the opening so same uh, rectangle will be also applicable to this wall so we will just copy this rectangle take the bottom base point and click here so again we will just say press pull and we will create the opening go inside and click so this opening is ready we can view in conceptual visual style so how it is looking like so now it is looking like this so we have created front wall all the openings and right wall all the opening so we want to go on this side wall now just orbit it and to make it sim simple for copying just go back to 2d wireframe and uh, we have already this rectangle so we will just copy these rectangles here this rectangle and this rectangle and we will give the bottom base point here and we will copy same here so same windows are created we will copy this front rectangle also behind this rectangle on the back side so on this wall so this has been ready 
then on this side also we need the same rectangle so we'll just zoom it there and we will copy it there so in this way then we will just press pull to cut down these rectangles and create a wall opening go inside and enter just enter to repeat the press pull then we will just orbit so that we can shift to other wall so we'll just orbit using shift and we will again use the press pull and we will make opening on this wall also here go inside then here also we'll make one opening press pull go inside so all in this way most of the openings are ready now we can see it in conceptual visual style so only ventilators are remained so all the other openings we have made it properly so only ventilators opening are there so we will just switch back to to device frame and we will make the ventilators opening so just switch back to to device frame now your ventilators are there so ventilators are will be at more height so we will take the height of 2 meter just create a line of 2 meter height just press a fit for straight line and give a height of 2 meter 2000 then uh, ventilator uh, will be of 600 by 600 we will just measure this length how much has been taken here so it is 500 so we will just create 500 by 500 ventilator so just create a rectangle again rectangle then align to this surface then just click on the start point right click and dimension and give a size of 500 by 500 then give the direction upward now same rectangle will be ventilators will be everywhere so we will just create the reference line here so that we can copy that rectangle and we will give a length of wall width of 300 and same again one line we will create here so that we will have the reference point so the reference lines are not there so we'll take again line command go inside and give a length of 300 here so reference line are ready so we will copy the same square everywhere now just say copy co select the object enter give the base point this bottom one and copy at four locations this point then this bottom point and this bottom point so at four locations it is ready so we can view it properly in conceptual visual style and we will just press pull it and create those openings also so just select the press pull then go inside the rectangle square take your cursor inside just we will zoom it further so that it can be easily we'll just zoom it further so that it can be easily press pulled so again we will take the press pull just take the press pull press pull then go inside the shape once it is highlighted we have to click just click and go inside and click so opening will be ready just enter to repeat the press pull then just go inside the shape click and go inside and click again enter to repeat the press pull just go inside and cut so it came out I will just undo so we want the cut to be inside again say press pull 
and go inside then click once it is highlighted you have to click so just allow it to highlight so it has been highlighted click go in take your cursor inside and click opening is ready again enter to repeat the press pull then take your cursor inside the shape inside the rect rectangle once highlighted click and go inside and click so in this way we have created all the window openings we will just see it how it looks in southeast isometric so in this way we have created the wall 3d wall here and we have created all the window opening so we'll stop this first part here in the ne next part we will see how to in the next part we will have to close these top openings for doors then we will have to model actually the window and the doors and we have to place it on the proper location so first part we will end here